I'm Don. I'm Lachelle. And this is Morrison Madness. <laughs> I just can't get over the fact that you don't know what any of these shows are. Sorry. It's part of why you love me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of the two reasons. So today, we are going to talk about travel blankets. So if we recently had to go on, well, didn't have to, but we did go on a trip for a conference. So we were on a plane. We stayed in a hotel. We're not, we're not campers. We have not, no. we have not been camping. Um, so, but a lot of times that's kind of these travel blankets are built for camping in that way as well. Um, so I will try and make sure that I have the titles to each of these. All of these we bought on Amazon and I will try and have links to them as well if I'm able to. And we're going to kind of go through the different blankets that I tried out and what we liked about them, what we used, all of that kind of stuff on our trip. Sound good? Absolutely. Rock on. So we have a couple different companies. Um, uh, over on the site, if you're watching the video closest to me, we have, I don't know if it's Latumi or Lit, Litume, Litume, L-I-T-U-M-E. I'm not sure how to pronounce the company name. But there are two different blankets that this company has that had high ratings. Um, and so I decided to try both of them out. One is a fleece and one is called velvet. They're both 100% polyester. But I can tell you that the the fleece material is definitely more like a fleece. Again, if you're watching on the YouTube video, you can kind of see... Um, would you describe it any other way than fleece? No. I mean, I, it, if you go to a fabric store and you get the fleece that you, you don't have to... Um, so edges on kind of idea that very much reminds me of that type of material. But it does have all of these do have um, a nice little carrying bag. The carrying bag is super thin uh, and it has even a little bit of a netting. So it airs out if the blanket for some reason is a little damp or something that way. When you put it in there, then it airs out the blanket a little bit. I'm not going to open all of these blankets just because that would be a nightmare on video. Uh, but we do have some of that information. So again, with this fleece, the fleece, I would say you can see with the water bottle here is quite a bit bigger. It's about the same height. And this water bottle is a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. So it's a little bit about the same height as the water bottle, but it's definitely bigger around. I, like I have to, I can put my both hands around it, my thumbs and my middle fingers touch on either side of it. So um, it says here that it was, it's 4.8 inches. That's a cross diameter wise. And then 7.3 inches tall. So this is one of the larger blankets, um, as far as traveling and how, how big it is once it's all wrapped up. Uh, it's a little squishy, but not squishy enough to where I feel like you could really pull that down smaller. No, but in its bag, it's squishy enough that it would make a pillow. Yeah. You could, you could use it as a pillow. Or a, a backrest kind of thing or something along those lines. Absolutely. Um, again, we I use this one. I've used each of these around the house. Um, but this one did not end up going with us on our trip. So, um, and I'll get to why on that. But um, it was it was warm. I mean, it, it sitting around the house in the living room kind of idea. It was warm. It helped keep the breeze in the house off of you. If you were sitting in front of a fan, things that way, you, it would keep you a little bit warmer. Um, when you open it up, the this again, this is the Litume fleece. It's 67 inches by 48 inches. And then it's also got a weight of 10 ounces. So it's, it's very light. It doesn't hardly have any weight to it at all. It only comes in the color of gray. And it runs just under $40 right now on Amazon. Again, prices probably fluctuate. So when we're recording this, this is how much it costs. Um, so that's the first one, the Latame Fleece. The next one is the Latame Velvet. And this one is a little bit smaller. Um, it's only nine ounces, so it's a little bit lighter. It's four inches across instead of 4.8, so almost an inch smaller around. So, And it's squishy. You could really kind of squish this down even more if you really wanted to, if it needed to kind of sit. Like, I feel like if you had a stretchy water bottle pocket, 
on a bag, you could probably kind of shove this down in there, but it would be awful tight um, if you tried to do that. And then it's six inches tall, so it's a little bit shorter than the other one. And again, I'll hold them up next to each other so you can kind of see the difference in size. But this one is the Latume Velvet, and I'm not sure how to describe that material. It's like satiny. It's, it's, it's a little slick. Right. It's a little slick. It's a little <clears throat> satiny. But I've, if I remember correctly, and I'm trying to find the edge of it, um, yeah, it's just that way all the way through. I was thinking that one side had some fuzz to it, but I don't think it does. So, but yes, it's, it's, it almost reminds me of the workout shirts, but it's not stretchy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Is there a better way to describe? No, they're silky, satiny. They're, they're, they have a little bit of slickness to them. That's... Yeah, but it's not stretchy, but no. that's that's the same type of feel. Um, and again, this one is 100% uh, just... polyester. And it's the same size unrolled as the other one. It's 67 inches by 48 inches. Correct. Yep. Um, and again, this one I used around the house. It was not quite as warm as the fleece between the two. So it depended on you and your preference. If you just want a light cover up, you could do the velvet one. If you need more warmth, definitely go with the fleece on that. Um, but the two litames did not end up going with us on our trip. So, um, and part of the reason, that, oh, and the price for this one was 35. So it's a little bit cheaper, about $4 or so cheaper. Um, than the the fleece one so um and part of the reason that i decided not to take these were because they were actually the smallest when they were unrolled so the size of the blanket was actually <clears throat> smaller than the other blankets and then the other side is neither one of these were as warm and i tend to run very cold i want i want a blanket that actually gives me a lot of warmth um yeah, if you wonder why she's doing most of the talking, I almost <laughs> never use a blanket. I don't think you actually really used any of these. Yeah, I did. I tried one out here at home. Here at home. I never had an opportunity or needed one on our trip. No, you never did. <coughs> um, so that's, yes, that's part of why I'm the one that's primarily doing this. I did the research on these and ordered them and tried them all out. But anyway, the Litumes or Litumis or however we say that... Um, Neither one was as warm as the the Blue Hills, which is the last one that we'll kind of get to. So um, I'm going to switch these two around. The next one that I want to talk about is a Formosa. Uh, the Formosa is the brand. It's a polyester blend. It's 14 ounces. Uh, it has a slick cover again. Oh, and I forgot to mention both of the Lutimis do have that uh, netting into the bag so you can get some air in there and they both do have a handle that you can grab onto with the bag as well so you can kind of attach it to your bag or something that way if you wanted um, so the handles were were handy the formosa does not have a handle and it does not have any kind of mesh, mesh around the bag um, but this is a completely different kind of bag it really or not bag a completely different kind of blanket it doesn't really even it's, it's not really even a travel blanket. This is technically a sleeping bag liner. Um, but it's one of the only sleeping bag liners that I found online that has a zipper all the way down the side and across the bottom that can completely unzip and then completely unfold. So this one is uh, 14 ounces in weight and rolled up. It's eight and a half inches tall which I don't feel like it's quite eight and a half inches tall because it's about the same height as the Latumi fleece, um, which was listed at 7.3 inches tall. But um, I think it depends on how you fold it up and how you roll it up. And then it's four inches across, so which I think it's actually a little smaller than that because, um, again, it's a little bit smaller than the Latumi velvet around. So um, this one we did end up taking on the trip and I did end up using it um, when we were in the hotel and this happens to me in every single hotel. If you run cold, this might happen to you as well, <clears throat> that the air conditioner usually blows up and then down on top of the bed. So if you want the air conditioner on in your room in the middle of the night, you're usually cold, 
because that air is falling right on you or blowing directly on you, um, which of course this was the case again. And I noticed with this one that this one doesn't, um, it breathes, but it doesn't let air through. Like if there's a fan in front of you, I don't really feel that breeze through this blanket. And so I ended up using this blanket by unzipping it completely and making it into a blanket and laying it over top of me, over top of the blankets on the bed, just to keep that cold air from kind of going through the blankets that were on the bed. Um, and I was much warmer than while we were in the hotel in that way. So this one comes in a whole bucket full of colors. Nope. This one. Sorry. We're talking about the Formosa. Oh, I thought we were He's talking like, about the cocoon. Nope. This, this is a different My bad. One. So this one only comes in gray. And again, it has a zipper all the way around. And then there's like a Velcro piece at the top. So then you do have that kind of, there's a zipper on it there, you know, that kind of stuff. So if you're wanting to actually have a blanket blanket, um, it may not be the best. But if you're looking for a sleeping bag liner, I would really recommend it. Or if you're looking for something that's a little more just for sleeping universal that way, this works really well because you can wrap it up around you as a, as a sleeping bag itself and underneath blankets or lay it out on top of you over top blankets, things that way. So I, I like this one. We will probably keep it just right. And it only comes in gray. It only comes in gray. Yep. Absolutely. And this was only $15. So again, for the price wise, it's a nice blanket. Um, and even thinking like if you had a trip that you were going to stay at a hotel that you thought was a little shadier or you like to go on um, trips to hostels, things that way, and you want to have a sleeping bag liner to use underneath their blankets or something along those lines, this is a great option. And it's not super big, 14 ounces, so it's a little bit heavier than the other two blankets. Um, but again, I put this in our checked luggage, so it really didn't matter on that side of stuff. I wasn't planning on using this on the trip on the plane right. type idea. So that was the Formosa. The next one is the Cocoon travel blanket. This is the one that has a whole bucket full of colors. Yes, this has a bucket full of colors. So this one again has mesh on the on the bag. You can see we have a purple blanket on this one. Um, it does have the handle, so you can easily grab a hold of it that way. Um, it's easily labeled so you know what's in there, all of that kind of stuff. This one, um, the... The fiber that, it, or the material is 100% polyester cool max. So they're saying it's a pri 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 proprietary, proprietary. That's the word I'm looking for. It wouldn't come out. Proprietary type of material. It's um, similar to t-shirt material. It is. And it's super thin. So um, I don't know if you can kind of. They're not going to be able to see through it, honey. See, well, maybe on the close-up video, if we get, if we pull that in, but so that you can kind of see that it's, it's fairly super thin. You can kind of see through it. Um, but it's still, again, if you think about a t-shirt material, something that way, um, I had a chance, this one I used in the conference because again, we were in Las Vegas, we were in the convention center and everything about the convention center online says it's very cold inside. Make sure you dress in layers, bring a jacket, bring a blanket kind of idea. Well, I didn't really want a blanket per se. Um, and I, I reading the reviews on this again, it's, it's really small. Um, the seven inches by four and a half inches, but I would say it's smaller than that. Um, this one can definitely, cause it's a little squishy. You could definitely fit this into like a water bottle pocket. If it fits a larger bottle, it's a little bit bigger around than a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle. Um, but if you had like a 20 ounce soda bottle, I feel like it's only a little bit bigger around than that. And it's a, a little bit shorter than a 20 ounce bottle. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. So, um, anyway, and then I have, I, while we were at the conference, when I was talking with another attendee there, she had a very pretty scarf that I found out was a pashmina scarf, which are very popular. And I have actually looked at getting a pashmina scarf <laughs> instead of this on Amazon specifically for the reason of potentially using it as a cover up during the conference. Um, but I decided to go with this because this had the travel bag and things that way. So it's easier to kind of pack in a bag. Chewy, the, all the, done. The puppies are making noise. Um, and so I had a chance, I asked her if I could feel her scarf then when she said it was pashmina because I had never really checked out pashmina material before and they're very, very similar. So, 
Um, but it's a very, very thin t-shirt type material. And I did end up using it during the conference and it worked out really well. And because, oh, when this unfolds, it's 71 inches by 55 inches. So I would leave this folded in half and then just kind of put it over my arms like a scarf kind of idea. Um, and because it comes in a multitude of colors, again, I have, I think this is the eggplant color, which is a very dark purple. Um, it looked more like a scarf, even though it doesn't have the fringes on the end. So if you're looking for a travel blanket that's really versatile, this would be my go-to on that. Yeah, I remember there were a couple people that asked you if that was a some type of a shawl or a scarf. Yeah, yep. Um, and again, I would definitely recommend um, the Cool Max. It, it ranges be, depending upon the color that you choose. They're all the same from what I could tell, but I'm assuming the colors, there are certain ones that are more popular. So on Amazon, they're slightly different pricing and it ranges anywhere from 30 to 45. So this is the priciest blanket out of all of them. Um, but again, I think if you don't need something that has a lot of warmth because it's not super warm and I had it doubled over, which would add technically warmth to it. Um, and it was, it was enough as long as I was inside, but like on an airplane where you have that air blowing right on you, that's cold. I don't think it would be enough for me, but again, I run very cold and I don't like air blowing on me. So I'm a little unique in that sense. Um, but for a cover up sitting in a, a conference center kind of thing, having this like in an office. So then it looks a little nicer to kind of throw over. If you don't want to have a scarf with fringes, this would work. And then you still have a little versatility cause it can be a little bit bigger, um, did I say the size? 71 yes. inches by 55 inches, uh, 12 ounces in weight. And again, because of the cool max, they also talk about how the material actually wicks moisture away and helps you stay cooler. So from sweat. So then I'm assuming again, even though it's a blanket, it's not designed for a ton of warmth. It's more just kind of a cover kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand the whole cool max thing, but yeah, I didn't, I don't really either, but it was, it was a nice one. And the colors are very vibrant. Um, the purple that I have, which is eggplant is super pretty color, very royal color kind of idea. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you want to read off all the colors? Do you think we need to read off all the colors? No, I think if they go online, they can see you all can, the colors. You can go online. There's like 12 or 13 colors. There's quite a few there. So, um, Again, I really liked it and I will probably keep it just so then that way it's more of a, like a travel scarf kind of idea for me. Um, but the last one that we're going to cover here is Blue Hills. <laughs> so Blue Hills, again, is a little bit bigger. It's definitely bigger than that cocoon travel blanket. Um, you can kind of see if you're watching online uh, on YouTube here. It's a little bit taller the way that I have it packed, and it's a little bit bigger around. It won't fit really in a water bottle pocket. It's too big for that. Um, but um, it does have a handle. It does not have any mesh in their bag. So there, there's it's just a nylon bag, a nylon bag that goes around it. Um, but this one has more of a fleece feel again. Um, but this one is a thin fleece and it's not, it's not going to be as heavy as the fleece. Like if you were to just go to the fabric store and get the kind that you don't have to sew a hem on, you definitely need to hem this kind of fleece, I feel like, or it will unravel. Um, I don't know for sure. I'm not going to try and cut them to find out, but, um, it, it was, it's a thin, very thin. Right. It's just not fleece. as, as fluffy or furry. Right. As the other fleece. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good, good description of it. Um, this one is 13.8 ounces. And this is microfiber and not polyester. Sorry. Not yes. sure what the difference is, but I'm not sure either, but yeah, so it's a microfiber, I'm not a fabric. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's nine inches tall, four and a half inches wide, which I'll, I'll come to that. That's again, all of these like inches wise are probably a little, flexible because it's going to depend upon how you fold it, roll it up. If you use it as a stuff sack instead, all of these are folded and rolled. Um, so then it might be packed differently if you were to just stuff it in the sack instead of folding it and rolling it up. Um, but when this one unfolds, it is 70 inches by 64 inches, which, um, other than the Formosa 70 inches by what did I say? 60 inches. You said 64. 
Sorry. Just making sure we're on the same page. No, we're on the same one. 70, okay. 70 inches by 60 inches, which in the long run, this was the largest blanket other than the Formosa when you unzip it, which the Formosa, again, is that sleeping bag liner. So this is the largest blanket um, out of all of them. When I got this, there was only a gray and a blue, and I chose to get the, the dark blue because I felt like I wanted it to kind of stand out a bit. Um, as far as the bag and the, and the blanket. So then that way I was less apt to accidentally leave it on the plane or something along those lines. I wanted to have some color rather than a black or a gray. Um, but when I was looking at it today for this podcast, they do now also have um, navy, which I think is the color that we have. A royal blue, which is more of a bright colored blue. Uh, a pink, a gray, and a blank. A, a black, a blank, a black color. <laughs> so there, there's a few different colors there. Um, one blanket is twenty four forty five, so it's cheaper than your Litumais. Um, it's larger than your Litumais. Um, I feel like it was warmer than the Litumais when I tried them here at home. Um, and then we actually decided because I wasn't sure if you would want a blanket. We actually got two. When you buy two together, it's forty-four forty-five. So you save so, like five bucks. Yeah, so you you save you save about five bucks if you get two together of the same color. And I went ahead and got the two. Um, and you can see if you're looking online here, even I'll zip or scrunch this one up. Um, this is the one that we use. This is the one that it came that way. We never took this one out of the bag. Um, and it's much shorter, but then it's bigger around. So again, it's going to depend upon how you fold it and put it into the bag as far as the actual inches of how tall and big around that it is or the diameter. Um, and then again, this one has a, a handle and stuff that way. Um, and I ended up using the handle, um, on my carry on bag, which is a backpack computer bag, uh, shoulder bag convertible kind of thing one of the handles has a Velcro handle strap around it. And so I actually undid that Velcro and wrapped it around this. And so then this sat right on top of my bag. Um, also comes with a carabiner and you could carabine it to yes. a bag. Yeah. But the carabiner is a smaller carabiner and it's on the pull string. But I, you could take it off of the pull yeah, string. Yeah, I would take it off and put it on the actual handle and carabine it from the handle instead. Um, just cause you're going to have less movement. Um, I didn't end up actually using this on the plane because on the way there, we were... Super hot. Yeah, wherever we were on the plane and we were in the warmest part of a plane I have ever been in. That plane was so warm. And then on the way back, we were sitting in the very front row, so then we weren't allowed to have any of our carry-on stuff with us. And I never got a chance to actually get up and get the blanket, um, even though I was super cold and I wished I would have had it. So... Um, it was on my carry on, but it had already gotten stowed up above and we never got a chance to pull it out. But, um, so I would recommend overall, if you want a travel blanket for warmth, and I use this a lot in the hotel as well. We, uh, stayed in a hotel room that had a kitchenette and like a couch and stuff that way. And so I had this sitting on the couch and I would wrap up with this every night after the conference and stuff when we were, right, sitting, when we were watching going through TV our notes and, and yeah. So, um, this is definitely a great, like, even if you just want a lap blanket around the house kind of thing or in the car or something along those lines, I would highly recommend the blue Hills blanket. That would be my top choice for warmth. Um, if you're wanting something for a little bit of extra layering warmth, um, but not necessarily a, a warm blanket, um, I would then go to the cocoon for that because then it's a little more versatile and you can use it kind of as a scarf. And then the Formosa I like just because it's a, more of a sleeping bag liner and we have always said that we needed to get a sleeping bag liner anyway. So that's a little bit different. Uh, but I believe we're going to end up returning the two Litames because we never really used them. Right. So, um, and it, again, they're very high quality. I'm not saying you shouldn't get them for the warmth, the size of the bag, um, and the size of the blanket itself, I preferred the Blue Hills overall. But um, they they were still a nice blanket, high quality, and added some warmth as well. Makes sense? Makes perfect sense. All right. So that's our blanket review. I know I talked a lot in I, this one. You didn't get much talking in. I, 
I don't use a blanket very often. <laughs> you don't, even if when you we're do here have, at home. No. So if you do have questions about them, though, please throw yeah, it up yeah. in the comment. And we're happy to try and answer any questions about them that we can. Absolutely. And I'll try and enter as much of this information in the description as I can. I don't think I can do... I have this like as an Excel sheet. Maybe I'll try and make a Google Doc and make a link to it so you can actually kind of compare them yourself and see what's out there to compare them. Um, and again, pricing and stuff that way is going to fluctuate because again, it's on Amazon. And so the fluc the prices fluctuate on Amazon on a regular basis, but. So next time we should, uh, we should review airplane mattresses. What? Just kidding. Airplane mattresses. Just kidding. I don't know what he's talking about. Most Thanks of for the tuning time. in folks. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> our review of the travel blankets. Yeah. And again, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the socials. Absolutely. Um, if you are only seeing, here, listening to this through a podcast thing, you might want to check it out just a little bit on YouTube so that you can see the blankets. See or the go to Amazon. Them. You can kind of see right. the images there. Um, we did not pull out, for if you're just listening to the podcast, I didn't pull any of these blankets out of their bag. So I just pulled like a corner out to kind of show the material a little bit. Um, but in the general sense of stuff, it's not a big showing of the blanket because that would be a nightmare. Right. Until uh, next time. We'll see you then. Take care.